do, do we see what book I need to read? Um, hello, welcome to the vlog where I was gonna do another fishing series where it's gonna be lesbian erotica. But instead I did this because I'm behind on my reading challenges. Um, I I'm just gonna give you the tour. Uh, we have alphabet reading challenge. I clearly only have two. This is my 2023, 2023. This is most of them. <laughs> I have issues. And then down here we have on top of the nonfictions that are in this list, uh, two more nonfictions I have to read, and five more classics. I'm going to have to hit you on that because I did start a classic before I started to film this. Um, but basically it is the fourth, right? I am going to be filming this basically every day from today all the way through the 29th, the day this goes up, I'm going to hopefully remember to edit as I go along. <laughs> okay, now everything that is not for the podcast or vlogs uh, that I am slowly going to also be reading at the same time, every day I am going to be reading for this damn stuff because, you know, um, I do have stuff for the podcasts I have to read and whatnot. Uh, I also should tell you my uh, books I'm currently reading. I started The Bluest Eye, I want to say the first, and I'm a good chunk of the way through. Um, I want to finish this to knock down a classic. Also, to knock down a classic, I have Beowulf. I'm going to reread it. It is about the same length, maybe a little bit longer uh, than this one, but it's uh, dual language. It's in the both Old English and in English right so like uh very Shakespeare uh is how I explain it so there's that um I also on top of that have A Christmas Carol and Hamlet from Libby and I'm also currently in the middle of a collection of Sherlock Holmes that I've been reading since August so between those I should finish the classics okay that's my fan for the classics for the Nonfictions, I have no fucking clue. Um, speaking of nonfictions, uh, two things I have from the library in a way that I need to read ASAP because they're both going to be returned like tomorrow. <laughs> um, first one is Velvet. Was the night? I keep on thinking it's of the night. Um, I just opened it for the first time. It is like 300 ish pages for the digital copyright. I have it from Libby. Uh, from what I understand, uh, there's a lot of like political thriller kind of stuff going on um a character who's like a neighbor of the main character goes missing so then she goes uh investigating and then there's another guy who's like working for the government or something also looking into it but then he's into her and then also like there's a bunch of other people like russian spies trying to kill them with for the information and her secrets seems interesting <laughs> it was either that or the very hungry caterpillar because i'm funny and also idea of the original book that was going to be. Um, and then, uh, speaking of nonfiction that I never brought back up, uh, the other one, I have the audiobook on Hoopla that's going to be returned tomorrow, is Bad Feminist. It's always up here. Here. Um, also I should mention these are all color-coded. <laughs> um, blue means Libby. Technically I have zero days on script slash I've written down, so that should be a different color that I don't have up here. Right, um, same for the Raven Boys. Uh, orange is books I physically own. Purple is Hoopla. Uh, Dance with the Fae Prince. I can get the audiobook there. I want to do an ebook, but I think I'm going to have to do an audiobook, so that's going to be Hoopla as well. Um, and then, uh, light blue. This weird light blue is books I own as ebooks. Uh, so good times. I also have Lady Midnight out at Libby uh, as an audiobook. It's like 20 hours long and I have seven days left on that hold. And then I also have Ninth House. I've been getting it, getting the hold, running out of time, returning it, and then getting it back nonstop for like three months. <laughs> I have it again as an ebook from Libby. So there's that. Uh, I want to say there's also like other things I have, but I don't remember. Um, yeah, that's the update. I'm going to try to get through this shit. I kind of low-key want to, like, I have stuff that I need to read for the podcast ASAP, but I want to finish this bad boy today, uh, hopefully. So, it is sad. Um, let me tell you. I'm also very interested. Uh, I'm having a good time, so. Okay, so in case I decide to not keep the 9 p.m. update last night, I've read 29 pages of this. Uh, I played Migraine, and it's too heavy a book plot wise emotional wise things that happen wise and also um 
the way she writes uh which i don't mind but like when you have a migrant and also i saw in the next chapter that there was a lot of italics i was like i'm not i'm not gonna be able to do it so um i stopped after reading one chapter two chapters one of the two um i went to bed now today's plan um should i read velvet was the night first yes but i have it up on my kindle and i think if i don't back out of it it will be fine and if not it's fine i already put a hold back on it at the lab uh libby right um so in the meantime i'm gonna read bad feminist <laughs> uh i thankfully hoopla tells you the exact time that it's gonna be returned which is 10 6 in the morning tomorrow on the 6th so today the fifth i am going to read that book bad boy um my current idea is to read at least some of an audio and physical or ebook every day uh and usually most days will be a mix of things for other vlogs or the podcast and this but um yeah that's the plan i'm gonna i'm gonna go read that uh it shouldn't take me too long i haven't checked how long the audiobook is but i don't think it'll take me too long and uh we'll, we'll see what happens after that uh i know what book i'll read after that which is one for the podcast i just have to wait uh for the fish to wake up for recording so i figured might as well listen to an audiobook in that time right uh so that's what i'm gonna do Sadly, I don't have an actual eraser, <laughs> but I did finish Better Minist around 9.30 last night, I want to say. Rated it four stars. Um, One, <laughs> the narrator, I had to look up where I knew her from because I was like, okay, that name looks familiar. Then I was like, okay, her voice sounds familiar. Um, Two books this year, uh, Blood Debts and then the sequel to Dread Nation. Um, But yeah. It was great. Uh, she put a lot of emotion into very emotional scenes. So at one point I was like, wow, that must be hard for her to like, I actually thought it was Roxanne K reading it because of how emotional she was reading it because it was emotional part of her life and whatnot. But it was actually just her reading it off. At All right. Um, it was good. I rated it four stars. There were a few essays that like I don't want to say I disliked like they were like three stars and mostly because I didn't understand fully why they're there like I get like the end of the Scrabble one is the big one I can think of which is kind of really long um about how uh mansplaining I guess like I recognize that but like it took a long time to get to that point <laughs> and I, I don't fully understand and it's it's yeah um and also it's very early on to have that just very long essay that i didn't fully understand why i was there um but i did that and it was good so i got to erase it yay uh it is not part of these non-fictions i should mention that uh these non-fictions are two extra non-fictions on top of the ones on this list uh other things velvet was the night i'm well, i was like 98 percent sure i was gonna work on my kindle because i had it the last book i had opened on my kindle despite the fact that my loan ended <laughs> right but i just got the loan again despite the fact that i was third in line so i think the person i gave it to just read it in one day because it's like under 300 pages and then gave it back and then everyone else skipped their turn <laughs> so it went right back to me uh but i'm not gonna read that because i got time um the plans are i have another book i have to read for other things that is very emotional and heavy and so because of that, I am not going to uh, finish The Blue List Eye today because that is another heavy-handed emotional one. And I don't think I can do both of them the same day. I'm sorry. Um, so instead, the plan is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read Beowulf. Um, it does look long. Uh, one, because the pages are very thick. And it is like 213 pages exactly. Someone's notes are in these. Um, I love that for me. Uh, but because of the way that like one side is the original and this side is the newish English. Newer English? Because that side's old English. I don't know. Um technically it's like two a uh, hundred and seven-ish pages, something around that. So like 
it's much shorter than it actually is uh so i can read it um i am interested to read the intro right um and more history on it i think the original version i read had that as well uh but still um excited to read that that's my plan after finishing that other book and then i have two other options that i'm thinking of i can either read two stories or at least make some progress in the sherlock holmes i've been reading since august right that makes sense do that or i can start where is it on here lady midnight <laughs> i have four days left on my loan and it is just short of 20 hours long which is excessive right um so i should start that i recognize that i need to start it asap so i can get that done before my loan is due so that's kind of the plan i want to get at least a quarter of the way through that book today and then maybe i'll read some Sherlock Holmes if i have time i don't know that's the plan that's what's gonna happen um and yeah i think that's all i've got to say i have like plenty of other loans out at the same time too that like i need to read before they're due like ninth house i think i have a week left <laughs> it's fine especially since i have all that other reading i have to do as well uh but yeah that's that's it for the update i i did finally finish a book i, I update the whiteboard to make it say board classics but um because i did i did read all of it the cover's now slightly turned because i was reading like now i'm gonna throw that book over there i was reading like this um but i did it um justice for grendel's mother <laughs> I'm team Grendel's mother. She did nothing wrong, okay? They're the ones who literally used her son's arm as a trophy. Uh, like, yes, Grendel was in the wrong and they should have killed him. But, like, they let him sl die a slow, painful death and took part of him as trophy. And so then she gets her revenge by killing someone close to them. And then just goes back to her home. And then he Beowulf just goes into her home to kill her so like you know i don't think she did anything wrong she did the right okay i team grundle's mother <laughs> uh but yes i read it uh all last night 4.5 stars i upped it from 4 to 4.5 by the way um i love how i love this <laughs> and then i had this whole thing where like the way that grundle the vibes of grundle a lot about grundle reminds me of the witcher and i feel like this was a thing when I first read it too, where Grendel and Grendel's mother remind me a lot of creatures from The Witcher. Like there's even specifically a point where Gren or Beowulf has to fight Grendel uh, and they're like, there's no way he's going to be able to fight him all night long. There's no way it's going to happen. All this stuff. And then there's like, cue The Witcher where there's that whole entire aspect where he has to fight a monster all night long and everyone's like, oh my god. Like, uh for those who are wondering i've not watched season three we're not talking about it um but yeah i looked it up and apparently there's like a lot of comparisons between Geralt and beowulf and i don't know if it like there's that the aspect where it's like the original like classic fantasy type stuff so like of course it's gonna be influenced by beowulf but like did he purposely choose things and choices because of beowulf type thing right and I don't know but um that was a fun time that I just was looking that up for random reasons uh but yeah I, I reread it 4.5 stars so which you just saw a bit of uh the plans for today why I'm not updating the whiteboard because the first thing I want to do is finish the blue star I am going to cry um I know it's gonna break my heart but I have less than half I'm on 110 and there's one or not one two something Yeah, there's 206 pages and I'm on 110, so I'm just short of 100 pages left. I probably would have finished it the day that I got to that point if it wasn't for the damn migraine. So I am going to finish this. Uh, and then also the other point for the day are to make progress slash finish every book that I am currently reading. Because there's three of them. And one of them has absolutely nothing to do with this. But the other one is Sherlock Holmes. I need to finish that. So uh, that is the plan. Uh, started with this. I may 
take a break from classics and read the other one because that one is also heartbreaking but the writing style is something that I can read really fast so there's that uh, but that is the plan for today. Okay, it's after 8 p.m. so this is gonna be best, but I do finish it like an hour ago. Um, I'm rating it 4.5 stars as well. <laughs> uh, and how dare she? I know this took me a week to read, like exactly, but I'm fine with that because it's very heavy, um, and whatnot. Uh, especially after reading it afterward. Um, but the way, the way that I knew what was coming. And she still made me care for Bacola's father, I was, hope that's how you pronounce her name, with the chapter, very long chapter, about his whole entire life. And then, at the very end of the chapter, the thing happens. And then, the last chapter is you learning how it affected her after the fact, and that it happens more than once. And, uh, I heard, um, and whatnot. Um, I sad. Uh, I didn't cry. I got sad, but I got more angry than sad. Uh, right. Which, from what I understand of reading the afterward and a little bit after the fact, um, it's kind of more what she wants. Like, she wants you to feel bad for Bacola, obviously, but, like, she doesn't want just the sympathy. She wants you to recognize what the meaning and the point is by the sympathy you feel for Coca-Cola but she doesn't want only sympathy something like that um so you know it's fine that I'm just very angry uh and whatnot um but yeah four and a half stars I love the writing I can't believe this, how long it took her to write this um and also get it published anyways I'm moving on <laughs> uh and very glad I read this um I don't think I'm gonna get any of the Sherlock Holmes read tonight I think I'm just going to read the other book I have to read that's not for this at all but I've been reading for months um so that's fine and I don't know what my plan is for reading tomorrow when it comes to this it's so hello hi it is Tuesday the 12th now my phone is probably dying so this is gonna be a fast update um uh, because I just filmed the rest of my end of year videos right hence why I'm wearing this um but I thought I'd update you um Friday the plan from Friday through the rest of the weekend was to do a bunch of other reading that was not for this um so I could focus on this for a bit. Did not happen. Um Friday I did do a lot of reading that was not for this again. <laughs> but I did do a lot of reading. Saturday I took a mental health day because I was not having a good time. Um Sunday I was dying. Of my I actually felt like I was dying. My migraine was so bad. It was one of the ocular ones too. Um once it got to the point where once the second leave kicked in um and I was doing better at like 11 p.m. <laughs> Um, I read a little bit of Ninth House. Uh, by the way, uh, Lady Midnight, uh, in this time, I return my loan, um, and it boomeranged right back to me. <laughs> I already got it back, so don't worry about it. Um, but Ninth House is the next one that's gonna be returned soonish, I think in, like, three days. So, I picked it up. I was like, I'll just read through the first chapter. So, I read the prologue of the first chapter, which is, like, 20 plus pages. What the fuck it took and you're also like thrown in there's all this shit happening you're like what there's ghosts there's all this stuff um also i'm 90 percent sure in my head i confused it with serpent up i think that's the name of it where they both have snakes on the cover right like to the point where like i thought that book was this book and then i realized oh no i got it wrong and so last night i literally was going through my goodreads from around the time um that i learned about this book to figure out what book that was <laughs> so that's fine um now, uh, yesterday I read two more chapters. I think I'm on chapter four now. I haven't started it, but like I'm on chapter four now. Um, and I did it. Thankfully, Hoopla had the audiobook because the chapter was so long and there's so much information. And I was like, there is no way I'm gonna be able to go through this whole entire very long book. I think it's nearly 500 pages with just ebook in like a few days, especially since I have a whole bunch of other reading I need to do. Um, so I checked Libby first there's a wait list so I checked Hoopla thank god um I was able to pick it up last night um and the audiobook is actually really good the two narrators are really good uh for Alex and Daniel I think that's his name um it's really good I liked it um I do like the back and forth I do like the past stuff more of like his POV and then all that fun stuff 
um like seeing Alex's character from another point of view I like that I don't know why I'm liking her more that way uh there's weird mysterious death happening on campus at the gym but like she's not someone from the campus um her whole job is like to uh basically make sure that these secret societies who are doing super creepy stuff like cutting people open um for no reason uh it to make sure that they do everything right and don't break any rules blah 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 um and so she has to investigate the murder to make sure like it's not in the secret societies right uh and around the time that girl died there was also weird things happening with ghosts because she can see ghosts that's why she got the job right um but also there's like she has a history with uh drug abuse and drug dealing blah blah blah, blah. <laughs> i'm not making light of it i'm just I, i'm going uh through it she went through a lot of stuff with that in her past right and the person who just died the girl who just died very similar to her very similar things um where they think the boyfriend killed her because he uh has priors with drug dealing and whatnot and so does she and so she's like ah oh, she drug deals for her boyfriend blah, blah, blah. it's very similar to her in her past um and so i recognize that there's probably a connection in that way she does not um but yeah there's weird murders happening the ghosts are going weird um and she doesn't understand why uh, there's also daniel who knows like he's not there in the current present timeline which is winter <laughs> um and she keeps on saying he's in spain but it's like a lie and we know it's a lie so i don't i'm interested where he is um and yeah i'm worried about the bunny because the cover of the next book has a bunny and everyone's like oh when they get to that chapter they're like oh i get why he's a bunny and i'm worried about the bunny but yeah <laughs> that's it that's it for the update i'm like 13 percent of the way through i want to i hope i can finish it today but we'll see um also amongst other things i like figured out what the books that are non-fictions that i'm gonna read um that aren't disfigured to finish that i'll talk about it when i get to it um but yeah that's it and while i'm recording this going now because there's definitely tapped it on the whiteboard because i i haven't read much i didn't even read anything yesterday um i think it's thursday now i'm at a quarter of the way through almost i'm at like 21 percent of the way through ninth house um it's fine it's fine i don't know if i'm gonna be able to make it hear me out reading slump reading slump apparently a week-long one um i'm trying to find it but i keep on starting new books and just leaving them and i'm now reading four books so we'll see what happens we'll see it took me a week it is the 16th, but I finished the 9th house. <laughs> um, 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 you know that thumbnail that Fish made that says, uh, well, I finish all the series, or all, not the series, all the challenges? I don't think so. <laughs> I'm gonna try. Though, um, one that's gonna be at the end, so like, if I don't read it, I don't mind, is Assassin's Blade because one of my favorite booktubers is now doing a read-along for all the Sarah masses, right? Um, which is gonna take over a year, uh, but I think Assassin's Blade is in like March or April, something like that, uh, and like technically the thing for my actual reading challenge is just Throne of Glass in general, so like technically I could reread Throne of Glass a month early, if I really wanted to but you know that's that's a toss-up right now um for me uh but yeah I, I finished my house um thoughts and opinions uh I like the ghosty aspect I like the mystery aspect I like um character of uh Turner um Darlington I also really liked and uh I was like really sad because I was like well he's not gonna be the next one but then the ending happened so maybe maybe um yeah, the only reason I gave it three points on five and on four uh is one because I was in a reading club for a week. Thank you very much, uh, for this book. Two, it took me a week to read, and three, the like end battle at the end wasn't for me, but that's like a normal thing I have an issue with. Like I don't even like the one in Iron Widow, but like I love Iron Widow. <laughs> so I gets five stars, so I usually don't let that affect my writing too much. Um so it's three points out of five instead of four. But I did really like it. I did put the sequel on my DBR. Um on my list of series I put on the high priority list or maybe it was the medium one of the two <laughs> um and whatnot uh but yeah I liked it it was a good time 
Um, I don't know what else to say about it. Uh, I don't know which one of these I'm going to start next. Like, it makes sense to do the non-fictions and the classics and these two first so I can get those reading challenges done. That's three reading challenges. But also I feel like I should chip away at this one, so I don't know. I don't know. Uh, we will see and that is the update. Now, did I actually read Velvet was the type? No. Um, it's fine. I read, I kept on making the jokes of what if I read The Very Hungry Caterpillar instead. And so, I did just that. That's what I did for B. I uh, didn't write it because like, why would I? Uh, I have read it before. <laughs> I feel like I should mention it. It's probably still working my attic with all the other children's books, right? Um, but yeah, I did that. Uh, and then while I was labeling that as read yesterday, uh, I realized on uh, Storygraph is labeled as a classic as well. So I'm counting it. I'm replacing the like 400 plus page one that is a collection of the best Sherlock's blah 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 that I kept on saying that I need to read and then I never pick up because I've been reading it on my computer like I picked it up originally because Bestie I was visiting Bestie and she owns it physically and then I was like well I'll take a picture of the contents right in it um and then just read them uh and I'll know the exact page numbers in the exact version because I have the picture of the contents right uh because like they're sure they're classics you can read them online right um so that was the plan and then I hate reading on my computer so it just never continued. I think I've read two or three since then. <sighs> right? Um, and so instead of finishing that, I put that on soft DNF. I will finish it at another point. Uh, right? And it said counter counter is a classic. Um, in a similar vein, I started another classic, which is a Christmas Carol. That's that's the name of it, right? <laughs> Sorry, questions, I believe that's the actual name of it. Um, it seemed fitting. I jokingly picked it up uh, from Libby because I was like scrolling through the classics, right, on Libby. And I was like, you know what? That makes sense. I'll do that in a Shakespeare because that's pretty short. Um, and then plus the giant Sherlock collection, right? Um, that makes sense. And then literally the next day uh one of the book clubs i'm um, in announced that the book for december is a christmas carol so i was like okay i'll do that um but also on top of it being the second to last classic for that um it will also be the last for the buzz for the thon for me because i was going to do another book but then i was like wait a second carol <laughs> and i googled it to make sure yeah it's a word that has to do with sound and singing something blah 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 uh, and that's the prompt for december for the buzzwordathon 2023 so that will finish my buzzwordathon which is not a prompt up here because i just knew that was gonna happen um and then also nearly finished the classics for me so that's the plan i want to finish that tonight we'll see um and yeah that's currently was happening in this i don't know it's chaos can you tell there's like no way these are gonna happen right like i've accepted this i've accepted this in my soul hello it's editing at 9 20 p.m so i'm gonna be quiet because other people are asleep um um i never updated when i finished a christmas carol i just moved on in the last clip that i filmed like an hour ago uh so the update is that i read it I think I rated it three stars. It was fine. It just wasn't for me, really, I don't think. Um, but it was fine. I get the point of it. I get why people like it. The end. Okay, it is Thursday the 28th um, at 7.30 p.m. Uh, I, I can erase classics. I just read Hamlet so I finished the classics. Uh, non fiction wise, I do have to read one of them because the loans do by end of today, right? Uh, so I'm planning to read that after I edit this, but I'm gonna end this first because technically I do have tomorrow, but tomorrow I plan it, so I won't have time me to finish filming and then edit it all and whatnot in time. So it's ending now. Um, plan a do nonfiction uh 
disfigured and then Paris Hilton's book right and I'll be gone in the dark a true crime uh and then zero days of course and I also uh, uh Lady Midnight I also want to read that one because I have that one from Libby and while I have the loan might as well um but otherwise this is ignored <laughs> we're ignoring her it's fine um I will put in the pinned comment below how close I got to finishing all the other ones if I finished the reading 12 nonfictions and the outfit we know this isn't gonna happen right <laughs> um look how close I get uh that is that uh hail it I'm getting three stars apparently you've read it before I had it little does two stars I don't know um I'm giving it three I liked it fine I felt like I was reading the script of a telenovela that's how crazy it was nine characters died throughout the whole entire book and let me just count on my hand four six of those technically one of them died before the book happens but like we see his ghost and six of them happened at the very last scene So that was wild. Um, there was a lot of like people stabbing this person and this person tried to poison this person, but then this person drinks the poison and dies instead. And then th this person stabs that person. That person tells this person that actually it was this person who was playing to poison him and poison this person and then dies. And so then this person stabs this person for poisoning that person and then drinks the poison themselves and dies. And then at the very end, one or two other characters died. It makes sense if you read it, but still, um, it's wild in that way. It's fine. It's not my favorite Shakespeare, but I definitely liked it more than I expected. The main thing that came from this is that I want to rewatch the Rosalie movie. You know the one. No, you don't. <laughs> no one knows the one. Um, the Rosalie movie that's like a comedy retelling of Romeo and Juliet. That took me way too long. Oh my god. Um, but like it's like this whole thing from like the point of view of rosalie so like technically romeo's ex and juliet's cousin right um as so all this stuff is happening uh it's funny i really like it and now i want to rewatch i think i watched it three times this year it's quite okay it's not my fault anyways um i am at three stars finished the classics so let's go um and yeah that's it i'm gonna go edit this whole thing now Thank you.